1.19 is an exciting update. I mean, it is very difficult not to be excited to explore one of these on the Guardians SMP server. I cannot wait. I think that's going to be an awesome experience. But just because there are already some really cool things in this update doesn't mean I can't hope for more, right? Which is why today I'm here to show you five things I hope are added in Minecraft 1.19. So as for my first wishlist item, it definitely has to do with these things, these mine shafts, which if you didn't know, they've been relatively unchanged since Minecraft 1.8. Not, no, 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 not release 1.8 beta 1.8 that is a very very old version of minecraft which is why i propose a little bit of a rework and i know it's a little unrealistic but here is my concept i definitely think they should be a little bit more ruined and i definitely think they should be a little bit more abandoned looking because right now all they really have going for them to support that abandoned feel is the cobwebs and don't get me wrong the cobwebs definitely have an atmosphere to them but they don't make the place feel abandoned what really makes the place feel abandoned is falling wood and a really messed up pathway which i think could make an abandoned mine shaft feel like a lot cooler find and i mean look at this doesn't this look better than the default wood log i definitely think it does biome specific mine shafts so this one definitely may be cheating, but I want biome specific mine shafts. I think that would be really, really sweet. I mean, take a look at this. I think it would be really nice if each mine shaft had a little bit of variety to it. So obviously we have the abandoned nature of this one, but there's also moss and leaves coming off of it all over the place because we're in a lush cave and here's admittedly my favorite part of my concept. You replace some of the cobwebs that lead up to the spawner with leaves. I think that just that brings so much to it and I think it's so so cool. Reworked dungeons. But if there is one thing in Minecraft caves that hasn't been updated forever, it is certainly the dungeon. These were added in Minecraft Infdev. In Infdev. Infdev. That that was when infinite worlds were being generated for the first time. Like what? These things haven't been updated in forever. So I think they should definitely get a bit of a rework. For example, something like this. So yeah, I think I actually kept the spirit of the dungeon intact fairly well while also building in a more Mojang-y style. Uh, admittedly, I don't think they would put moss in here, but I think it adds quite a bit to this build. And I haven't exactly been building in a Mojang-y style, but even still, I think this is a very nice rework to the dungeon that definitely brings it into the modern era of Minecraft. And, oh wow, that's a phenomenal chest. Oh, would you look at that? But yeah, I definitely think this is a nice rework to the dungeon. And yes, the spawner still does work, despite the slabs and stairs all over the place. I mean, look at how much cooler it would be to stumble upon this than it would be to stumble upon that tiny room. I definitely think it's a lot cooler. Abandoned skulk protection. Lastly, for the building things, I swear this is the last building thing. I'm here in a deep dark area. I think a really cool way of doing a little bit more world building would be having some abandoned, like, barriers here with like a skull on the ground. I think that'd be a really cool way of doing a little bit more world building to do with these guys over here, these skulk shriekers. And it's definitely no secret that Moying have tried to make this thing absolutely terrifying. I mean, look at these animations it makes. Absolutely terrifying. So it would just make sense if there was some world building showing us that are you okay, sir? So yeah, it definitely would make sense if there was some world building around showing us how terrifying this thing really is. So I definitely think Moyang has a few more pathways they can go with some more generated structures. A rework to slime. And as for my last idea for a rework, it would have to be to do with these guys. So obviously honey on its own has quite a few uses, but slime balls on their own don't really. So my suggestion is something like something a bit like a standalone block like this that would launch you right up as you walk on top of it do i think this is likely to happen no but i think it could be a very cool idea but yeah as minecraft 1.19 approaches its release i definitely have a few wish list items i would love to see do i think any of these are likely to happen no but 
Mo Yang, I, I know you're watching right now. I absolutely know you're watching. You can take any of these ideas. Free of charge, including the builds. Free of charge. Go for it. And lastly, just one more thing. And, I mean, of course, lastly, 